Hey guys, welcome to this course on how to create a pop house music kind of style track in Logic Pro 10. So we're going to cover a lot of different stuff here. First of all, we're going to look at my initial idea that I had. I'm going to show you how I got this idea and how to get this a cappella of this very well-known track as well as showing how to prepare for arrangement how to organize your project since this project is not organized at all as you can see then we're gonna arrange the track we're going to add different effects different downlifters uplifters different Dif yeah, just different stuff to make the track sound more professional. Then we're gonna go over mixing and mastering as well. So first I'm going to take this idea and play track by track what I came up with here. So I'm going to show how I got to these chord progressions here, because this is what the idea started with. It was these chords here. So this region and this region are the same chords, but this part, this fourth bar here, is just a bit different than this one. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna play these chords and I'm going to show you where I got this idea for these chords from. So let's play it. All right, and now I have something called virus speed on. And this is just to get some different perspective from different notes. So you're just getting a bit different pitch variation here if you do this. I'm going to actually take this off at zero like that. And I'm going to customize like that. Apply defaults. Okay. Yeah, now I have the default custom LCD screen here. And if you're a bit lost with logic, since this is not going to be a beginner's course in that way, I have a full beginner's course on Logic Pro 10 here. And um, yeah, you can, you can see that course. I'm going through everything from a beginner's point of view. All right, so... Yeah, these are the chords. Let's play them again. And I'm going to take off the side chain compression here. So I'm going to show you where I got the chord idea from. So a very good friend to me sent me a track that I really, really enjoyed. And I already immediately started to um, yeah, look at the chords, how that track was done. I love to have my favorite tracks and to kind of remake that track to just to check on how that track is done. So... That was a Serial Han remix. I think it was spelled like that. Say my name. And listen very closely now to the chord progressions here in this track. You will really hear it. Yeah, so you can hear that this is exactly the same chord progression as that track. 
So that's what you can do. You there are so many corporations out there, um, and they're just a limited kind of corporations that you can use. So there is totally fine to copy a corporation. I mean, there are so many tracks out there that has the same corporations as other tracks. So you're not copying anything by by taking the same corporation that is made all the time nowadays. There are just so limited um, kind of corporations that you, uh, yeah, you you can you can copy them no problem. So I do that all the time since it's it's pretty tough to came up with some unique chords. If you hear a track that you really like, just try to make exactly the same corporations, and then you can build a track on around that corporation. So. This is the course for that. And I just listened to it, tried to play along. I just got into piano roll. And yeah, just laid out all of these notes like this. And I found a Logic plugin called Retrosynth to do it. Looks like this. It's the preset called Cheerful Melody. And you necessarily don't have to use exactly the same preset I, as I do. But um, I found this sound to be a lot like this song. I even think that they have... These root notes here are... I think one octave down.